Woo! So, guys, <laughs> this is the second time we'll be recording her performance because the first time we posted it on uh, the IELTS Einstein page. Uh, okay, so guys, we have somebody who scored the band eight. Do you know? Do you know? Does anybody? Does anybody want to guess? Mom Karen. Well, you know, see si AD. What does AD stand for, Karen? Uh, initial for my middle name and last name, sir. So when I was oh. single. Okay. Uh, what does it stand for? Ang halaw dang pason, sir. Okay. All right. Karen! Karen, yes, I need to get a, uh, a breakdown of your questions. Do you remember the questions? Yes, sir. Okay. It's about, uh, it's all in the app, sir. Oh, all in the app. Oh, my God. Yay. <laughs> all right. Yeah. That's why we're drilling so we're drilling so many hours on the app. So from Karen, Karen from Kalinga. Yeah, scored a band eight. And that was her first attempt, correct, Karen? First attempt. No, sir, it's my second attempt. Oh, where was the first one? Second, sir. Where was the first uh, one? it was taken last. Uh, 2019, sir. Okay. Uh, how was that attempt? It's like I was not prepared. <laughs> or I don't know about idioms or vocabs and everything. Also tenses. Okay. Did, That's why oh, I got 6.5. 6.5, yes. I'm speaking. 6.5 to an E. Okay. Uh, why did you take that previous exam? Uh, for my visa screening, sir, going to the U.S. Oh, wow. Okay. I see. So, Karen, as we know, is a nurse. And at the same time, she's a firefighter. So, we call her Karen the firefighter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Where are you right now, Karen? In Kalinga, sir. Actually, we're uh, hosting a birthday party tomorrow. That's why I forgot na naman na I have an interview. I see. Whose birthday is it? It's my niece, sir. Oh, okay. All right. So, Karen, your exam was when? Friday, correct? Yes, August uh, it's August 5. 5. August yep. 5. Okay. And the week before, that was the earthquake. <laughs> okay. Yes. All right. And then where was your exam held? It, it, it was in Baguio, sir. Okay. Where in Baguio exactly? I, I I don't remember, sir, the name of that building, mm -hmm. but uh, what I know is it's Pines International Academy. Oh, Pines. It was way, Pines, back, way yeah. out in Pines. I see. And mm -hmm. did you see Shano? I was hoping, sir, but then I think he didn't make it, or I mean, he moved his yeah, eventually exam. Yeah, he didn't make it, yeah. Move this exam anyway. <laughs> because there, there, is a, there is a seat, there was a seat that it's uh Mr. Stwason sabi nung examiner. So, oh, that was him, yes. Pero wala siya, he didn't show up. I see. Oh, okay. So, this was computer delivered, yes, sir. Mm. Okay, how many people were in the venue? We are all in all 10. And most of them are taking IELTS for Canada. Oh, okay. See, yeah. What time was your speaking test in the afternoon? Yes, uh, at around 3 p.m., sir. Okay. Where did you have your lunch? <laughs> no. <laughs> I didn't take any lunch. Ah, you didn't take um, any lunch. I, I just talked. Yes, sir. I just waited for my speaking exam because I was so nervous mm, okay. <laughs> and anxious. Sige. <laughs> Sige. ako, sir. Parang kalimutan ko yung mga tenses. Okay, past tenses. Okay. Karen, let's, let's go to the first, the first questions for part one. The name, of course. 
Yes, the name, where I where did I came from? And then the question proper is all about my hometown. What's the history of my hometown? Uh, why do I like my hometown? And then we shifted to about mirror and then science and wait, then wait, collecting wait. things. Why do you like your hometown? I'm already and that part. I, I think wait, wait, it's wait. reading about the, the other one. Mar Marami siya, sir. It's a combination of a lot of things. So all the questions about mirrors. <laughs> can, can she hear me? <laughs> all the questions about mirrors. Can you hear me, guys? Sir, you're cutting in and out or? Am I? Can you hear me, people? Not, not exactly, sir. It's your line is cutting in and out, sir. Shields, can you hear me? Sheila. No. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Or okay. Okay. Here, sir. <laughs> okay. Sige. Wait. The question about mirrors. Let's go through it, Karen. Do you like mirrors? Oh, we're losing her. Karen, we got to do this interview, Karen. <laughs> okay, there what were the questions about mirrors? <laughs> Dali, let's do it quick. It, it's about, uh, do you think mirrors are, are, are good decoration like that? And then mm -hmm. uh, what do you think about mirror? Do you love uh, looking yourself at uh, the in the mirror? And then did you buy, did you ever bought a mirror? I had a lot of questions, sir, in part one, pero in part three, two questions lang po. Okay. Do you think mirrors are a good decoration? Grabe, I keep hearing these mm -mm. questions again and again. And when was the last time you bought a mirror, correct? Yes, sir. Yes. <clears throat> what about the question, do you use mirrors when you buy clothing? Did you have that? Yes, yes yeah. It was also included. Okay. okay. Actually, uh, everything is in the app, sir. All right. Maybe we shouldn't post this interview. These <laughs> buy clothing. Okay. And then, <clears throat> wait, see, alone, I, okay, she can't make it in. Oh my God, I sent her the wrong link. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. And then, what were the next questions? Uh, about collecting things do you collect things mm -hmm. why do you think that people love collecting things and is it a good habit hobby to collect things <laughs> so I got three questions about it okay do, do I need to type this guys <laughs> as in sir literally it's in the app okay these are the same questions I heard from Joseph earlier Okay, etc. I'll just type etc. And then part two. What were the part two questions like? Describe someone who and who whom you enjoyed spending time with. And of course. Okay. All right. Who did you mention? My husband, sir. <laughs> okay. And then where uh, where was the location? Uh, what do you mean the location, sir? Uh, spending time with. So where were you? Uh, I told I told the, the examiner that we we love gallivanting. I use that gallivanting a lot. We have so much uh, same interest. Mm -hmm. So we sometimes spend uh, uh, anything every and anywhere. So we we love traveling, ganun, sir. Okay, sige. And, and then, then that's mm -hmm. the time I inserted or injected something about a, pl a quiet place. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you manage to say it all? Yes, because we have really? uh, we have the same interest when we uh when we choose a place like a quiet serene and tranquil place. We love the, we love going there like that secluded area. <laughs> and, and everything about the quiet place. <laughs> did you mention the turquoise waters? I know the very yung sa about quiet uh, touch base, pent up okay. emotion, contemplate. Ayun po. Okay, recharge my batteries and everything. 
uh, yeah, and I also I, I was able to use the cherry on the cake idiom, brighten up my day. Ano pa ba? Uh, okay. Smile, so put a smile on my face. Ano sir? Put a smile on your face. Yes. <laughs> Evergreen personality like that. <laughs> 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 Wait. Uh, do you know the term swing a cap? Ah, yeah, see, I also I also put it uh, inserted that and then uh, fly off the handle and then even if even if we fell on our own sword. Oh <laughs> and then dump in the down uh, the, uh, down, down, in the and, dumps. Yeah, down in, down the, in dumps. the dumps. Okay. Yeah. All of that was in the part two. <laughs> Kaya ata sir, dalawa lang question niya sa akin sa part three. Tinapos na yun. What were the two? <laughs> what were the two questions in part three? Yes sir, that was, that, it, that's it. Sabi ko po sa akin, yeah, congrats. You're speaking is You were asking the exam. That's it. That's all my questions. <laughs> Tumawa siya. She, she, she's smiling all the time and as if she, I'm talking to a friend. Okay. <laughs> Sabi ni Eddie, she will practice those. Uh, what were the two questions? In the part uh, the, two que the two question is, uh, why do you like uh, spending time with your husband? And then, do you think, kasi related siya sir sa sagot ko, Mm -hmm. And then, uh, do you think uh, technology could something affect your relationship? And then after that, the last question niya is, ano yung, what's, the, what's the effect of uh, having a good, strong relationship with your husband to your children? Parang ganun. So parang, ang nagamit ko doon, of course, may technology kasi. So I use burgeoning, lips and bounds, ano pa ba? Incorrigible. Mm. Ano ba? Ayun. Uh, what what's the incorrigible? Yeah, what is incorrigible? Uh, the the children kasi sometimes yung oh, parang okay. to be incorrigible. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. In the, ayun, tapos nakalimutan ko na yung ibang. <laughs> Chinat yung kay Ma'am Charo yun eh. Kanino? Hey, wait, babalikan ko yun. To whom? To whom? I also use inimical. Inimical. Okay. Yes. What about pernicious? <laughs> Did you use pernicious? <laughs> I know. I, I wasn't able to use that. But yeah. And then so you, that's stole the, you stole the inimical for Shannon. <laughs> <laughs> I remember yes, that from Shannon. The moment he mentioned it, I typed it like, okay, inimical. <laughs> inimical. Okay. It's so much fun. Wait. Yes, literally, literally talaga. I, I was able to use everything that we were using during our drill. So, yeah, okay. Mas in. <laughs> Sinat mo kanino? To whom did you chat the uh, vocabs to? Uh, ano ba yun? Kay Ma'am Charo ba? Or kay Ma'am Lu? Ma <laughs> okay. I'm looking at this. I'm looking at this. And si Charo is with us. Ay, kay Charo. Some of okay. it. Sige. Charo, share it with us. <laughs> <laughs> ayaw sir, ayaw. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna keep it to herself. Okay. <laughs> Karen, your examiner, what was he like? She is, I think, um, parang age niya is 40 plus and she is not quite old. Ah, ito yung mga ginamit ko. Incorrigible, inimical, burgeoning of technology, bombarded, jopardy, prerogative, ganun. Sa part 3, I also use ramifications, rendezvous. Ayun. <laughs> rendezvous. <laughs> rendezvous. Rendezvous. <laughs> 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 Ayun, sir. Kaya pala when you when you were typing your thank you like I enjoyed our daily rendezvous. <laughs> John Mark gusto gusto niya tickle pink. <laughs> yeah, I also I was able to use also the tickle pink sir over the moon instead of over the moon. 
Okay. Your examiner was a Caucasian, Westerner, what? Uh, she is British. Oh, she was British. And, okay. And, and she keeps on smiling all the time. I see. And mm -hmm. uh, it, of course, it was computer delivered. Yes, sir. Okay. <clears throat> okay, Karen. Uh, just for the information of everybody, she scored band eight in listening and reading, and then band seven in writing, <laughs> and a band eight in speaking. Oh my god! Yeah, she can go anywhere she wants. Finally. <laughs> yeah, like the world is her. The world is under her command. Yeah. The, the world will. The world will bend their knees. To her. <laughs> okay. Bend the knee. Okay, Karen. Uh, we will now simulate. <laughs> Go, Karen. <laughs> let's simulate your speaking. <laughs> Danita, let's go. I want them to hear it in action. Go, Karen. <laughs> uh, yeah, because I'm okay. I'm drill for a long time. So sorry. It's okay, partida na. Okay, Shields. <laughs> Sheila. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, and sige, Shields, let's do a full speaking with Karen. Okay, Ma'am Karen. For the part two. <laughs> Ma'am Sheila, yung madali lang. Ay, so <laughs> lang gusto kong gamitin mo lahat yung idioms mo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we want to hear you say swing the cat. Ang dami and that was part one, and all of them were so familiar. <laughs> mm -mm. Yeah. Uh, para sabi siguro na examiner, what's the use? <laughs> what's the use of asking more questions? <laughs> so, Karen, when, when, when you left the venue, like you were so confident already. I was so confident, pero parang, parang I, I'm also bothered, sir, kasi parang, oh my God, but ganun? <laughs> but ganun yung part three? <laughs> but dalawa lang? <laughs> Sige. <laughs> parang yung stop na lang, na, lang, na lang niya yung part three, sir. Parang, okay, tama na, ganun. <laughs> parang gusto, gusto pa niyo magsalita, eh. <laughs> okay. Sige, Shios, let's demonstrate. Go, Karen. Hello. Okay, ma'am. <laughs> Okay, I'm Sheila. I'm your invigilator. For today, may I know your full name, please? Hi, good afternoon. My name is Karen Lawagan, and you can call me Karen. Okay, for your part one question, let's talk about mirrors. Would you use mirrors to decorate your room? Absolutely, yes. I love mirrors. As a matter of fact, uh, mirrors gives an illusion that the room is wide and spacious where I could swing a cut. So, I really love putting mirrors uh, all over my place. Okay, cooking. how often when she do you... She was when she said she wanted the easy questions. Can we, can we ask her different questions? Ah, uh, okay, <laughs> sir. These are too okay, easy sir. sir, okay lang. Ibang question talaga yung binigay ni Ma'am Leslie. Let's go. Okay, let's challenge. Okay. Okay. Oh my God. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Wait, okay. wait. Wait lang. Okay. Okay. <laughs> for your part one question, let's talk about being on time for appointments. Is being late acceptable in your culture? I believe so because I wouldn't say yes or otherwise, but I believe that uh, in our culture as Filipino, we are used to getting late and it's, it, it is somehow acceptable nowadays 
as long as we provide uh, sound and solid reasons on why we are late. Are you ever late? Are you ever late for appointments? Um, sometimes, yes. Especially if I had emergency or I had to attend to important matters that concerns my family. But most of the time, since I was employed in the uniform service, I am expected and uh, expected to arrive on time or uh, without uh, being late. Okay, what type of excuses do you think are all right for lateness? To my mind, uh, I reckon that uh, when it comes to emergency situations or anything that is something to do with uh, life and death situation, then I think it's it's a good thing to excuse someone who is getting late. But then if it's a habitual and the person is committing or always coming to work on late, then it would be just to conduct proper uh, in interrogation or I mean uh, people could should uh, ask why that person keeps on getting late before judging that person. Okay. How do you feel when someone is late for an appointment with you? Of course, I would definitely fly off the handle. But then... Uh, it's case to case basis. I would uh, first ask why that person was late, and if it's acceptable, then I would, uh, uh, I would, I would not, I would accept it, or I would not uh, try. I would try to keep my calm. But then, if it's unacceptable, then that's the time I I could uh, give any advice or even tell that person about what should she do or he do so that he would uh, prevent herself from getting raped all the time. Okay, let's talk about travel. Do you enjoy traveling? Yes, I love gallivanting. As a matter of fact, uh, traveling is one of my uh, hobbies and it's my passion as well. Okay, have you done much traveling? I believe so. In the past, when I wasn't uh, busy with my work, we are always going or on the go. We are on the road every time with my husband. And up until now, I guess we are coming back and forth from Luzon to uh, some part of Luzon going to Visayas. So, yes, <laughs> Okay. Do you think it's better to travel alone or with other people? To my mind, I think that when it's about business travel or trips, then it's better to uh, travel alone. But sometimes there are instances that we need time to unwind or touch base with ourselves. So... Uh, it's better also to bring uh, bring our family with us in order to enjoy and savor the moment, best moment in our life. Okay, okay now. Now I'm going to give you a topic and I'd like you to talk about it for one to two minutes. I will send it to the group, mom. Okay, mom. Karen, let's skip the one minute. <laughs> Sige lang, sir. So, you naka record ba to? No. <laughs> ah, okay, very good. <laughs> Just kidding. It's recording. Oh. <laughs> Ayan. <laughs> okay, it? okay, ma'am. Ito na Okay, ma'am. That's something man. you don't have now, but would like to own in the future. Okay, ma'am, your two minutes starts now. I'd like to talk about uh, something that I long for right now, uh, but 
uh, I wanted to have in the future or own in the future. And that would be my dream house. So uh, growing up in the province, we were less fortunate and uh, we were living beyond poverty line. So when I was young and when I was in college, I was, I always dreamt of having our own house built with our own uh, desire, desires or aspirations in life. So uh, after graduation, I, I've made it clear to myself that uh, I would uh, definitely, my first priority would be building my own house or our dream house. And um with my husband, who was my confidant at that time, uh, he was always supportive of me. And even the skeleton in the closet, we could share with each other and we could complement how we could uh, make our, make uh, or bring out the best in ourselves. So with his help, we were able to uh, build little by little our dream house. And as time goes by or went by rather, um, I, I could see or I could foresee our future together living in that uh, dream house that I dreamt about. And actually, as a matter of fact, we are living right now. Although it's under renovation, we try to uh, make it or to build that house uh, as soon as possible so that we could stay with the inside we could stay in that house before okay, we Okay ma'am your time is over Okay you've been talking about something you don't have now now I'd like you to ask some more general questions relating to these Let's talk about own things what types of things do you do young people in your country most want to own today Okay, that's that. I think that's a million dollar question because I could I couldn't speak actually for other people in general. But as I observe, a lot of people nowadays, especially the young adolescents who were living their uh, life not right now, is that they wanted to own or at least uh, own their own house, or I mean, have their own. Uh, cars or when it comes to material things that's what they are that what that's what g g it gave it gives them the the drive to uh, strive for their career and become a successful individual okay why do some people feel they need to own things well i think because it is somehow somewhat related or somewhat we could attribute it to the fact that we they they wanted to show off that they are capable of and that it somehow gives them a sense of fulfillment in their life. So with that, if they were able to achieve what they what they, they wanted and other people would see it, then it means that uh, other people would praise them and I mean success is attached to their uh, names. Okay. Do you think that owning lots of things makes people happy and why? With that, I I wouldn't say no. But for people who have been or had been with their alone in their lives for the past or for many moons back, I, I think uh, they I think it, it wouldn't give them uh, perfect happiness or complete happiness because they, their heart desires uh, or they desires things that uh, couldn't, uh, that, that material things couldn't give them. So it would depend on a case-to-case -case basis on what kind of life that people or that those person are. Okay, let's talk about salaries for skilled people. Do you think television and films can make people want to get new possessions? Uh, come again, can you repeat that question? Because uh, so that I could give you a better answer because I, I didn't get it 
a little okay. bit. Okay. Do you think television and films can make people want to get new possessions? Hmm. That's a mind-boggling question, but I guess uh, in my mind, I think that because of the influence that they saw or watch on television or films, then maybe it, it gives them the drive to uh, long for something that can be possible to achieve or impossible to achieve. And uh, this would depend on how those people uh uh, do something so that in in order for them to achieve that uh, their desires in life. Okay, for your last question, do you think people will consider that having lots of possessions is a sign of success in the future? Uh, with that thought, I don't think so because a lot of people nowadays are successful in material things. Also, also in their career, when it comes to their career, they are successful. But then when it comes to their inner peace and uh, holistic well-being, they lack something. That's why they strive to look for that uh, thing or that missing piece in their heart and in their souls. <laughs> so I guess... <laughs> Uh, having having everything does not guarantee that uh, you could be happy or it does not guarantee actually your happiness in life. Okay, thank you very much, Miss Karen. <laughs> that is the end of your speaking test. Congratulations. Uh, Sheila, this, <laughs> this question, oh, these questions are not in the app, correct? Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> what nice questions. Where did you get these questions, Shields? From Miss Leslie, sir. Yan po yung pinapractice namin before. Oh, you are the viewer. I see. Yes, Leslie, she's referring to Leslie Glotton who scored band 8.5. And Karen right now is a band 8. Those were <laughs> solid questions. Okay. Uh, so guys, uh, if you go to the IELTS Einstein page, if you could scroll down, you could see a post made in July 24. And in this post, it was a recording of Karen. So we captioned it by saying, this recording below is an example of a quintessential band eight performer in the IELTS speaking test, a product of near daily intensive practice. And what we did is we now attached as a comment her actual scores, which was in August 5. There, so there, because July 24, Karen was about to take her exam in a few days then, and then the earthquake struck, so she was moved to August 5. Quintessential band 8 performer, even with these questions that she was not familiar with, right, guys? She still threw all of those vocabs, fly of the handle, gallivanting, living below the poverty line, her husband is her confident, uh, they can expose their skeletons in the closet. Um, a million dollar question, even that, I, I, maybe you should go back to how she actually uh, <laughs> asked for a repetition of the question, even that was really well handled. Uh, that's a million dollar question. And then success is attached to many things, many moons back, a holistic well-being. There were other phrases, guys, that I wasn't able to type in anymore. But this is this is emblematic of what a band eight minimum performer is. Emblematic. There's no way you can score under band eight with this. And in fact, I cannot wait for this course of Shano. <laughs> And then uh, Karen is now officially for this year, uh, we are in August 13. So since the start of the year, we've had three band 8.5s, Leslie being one of them. We've had 10 band 8s, Karen is one of them. And we've had 16 band 7.5s. And we are not counting all those who scored the band 7 using the power of vocabularies. So Karen, thank you very much for this. Uh, thank hold you, on. Uh, thank you and congratulations. You are now enshrined in history. <laughs> the interview thank will you. now fall into the YouTube page and it will be there forever.
till the end of time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Congrats. Hold on, guys. I'll just stop the recording.